We have just entered the age of quantum supremacy, a new study suggests. Researchers at Google have developed a quantum processor called Sycamore that was able to perform a special task in 200 seconds. They claim that it would take the world's best supercomputers 10,000 years to complete the task. This is an important milestone, one that Sundar Pichai, Google's CEO, compares to the 12-second first flight by the Wright brothers. According to Piaggi, the breakthrough is a step towards using quantum computers to solve real-world problems. Not everyone agrees, however, whether Google's announcement represents true quantum supremacy. The tech firm's rival, IBM, questioned some of Google's figures. According to researchers at IBM, this experiment is an excellent demonstration of the progress in superconducting-based quantum computing. But it should not be viewed as proof that quantum computers are supreme over classical computers. Classical computers have their unique strengths and both systems will rather work coherently. In response to the work from Google, they also argue that their most powerful supercomputer called Summit could complete the same task in 2.5 days rather than 10,000 years. In recent years, many of the tech industry's biggest names including Google, IBM, Microsoft, Intel and Alibaba have invested millions and millions of dollars into quantum computers. So, what is quantum supremacy and why is it so important? The promise of quantum computers is that certain computational tasks might be executed exponentially faster on a quantum processor than on a classical processor. The phrase quantum supremacy was coined in 2012 by John Preskill to describe the point at which quantum computers can do things that classical computers simply cannot. Much has already been written on how quantum computing differs from classical computing. Classical computers are powered by bits that exist in only one state at a time, a one or a zero. Quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits, which can simultaneously be any combination of zero and one. Qubits can be any point on the sphere. They represent atoms, ions, photons and electrons and their respective control devices that are working together to act as computer memory and a processor. Just as quantum mechanics is both a wave and a particle, quantum computing is both digital and analog. Because a quantum computer can contain these multiple states simultaneously, it has the potential to be millions of times more powerful than today's most powerful supercomputers. Nevertheless, there is still a long road ahead for quantum computers. The big barrier preventing us from having large-scale quantum computers today is that they are highly sensitive to their environment and can be affected by noise. The noise could come from stray electromagnetic fields or material defects that can exchange energy with qubits. To achieve fault-tolerant quantum computation that can deal not only with noise on stored quantum information but also with faulty quantum gates and faulty measurements, it is essential to implement quantum error correction. Although this task once seemed impossible, scientists have developed multiple techniques that could be implemented in an integrated circuit-like planar geometry. Quantum computing will play an important role in future technologies. Breast cancer patients may undergo several rounds of chemotherapy and spend months in limbo before medical scans can show if a particular mix of drugs is shrinking the tumour. Designing the scans to quickly and accurately diagnose disease is a vastly challenging computational problem requiring innovative approaches. Once quantum computers are practical, they could power advances and find a cure for cancer and every possible disease instantly. As with any advanced technology, quantum computing is a double-edged sword. Defending against quantum computers will require techniques that don't exist yet. A quantum computer that falls into the wrong hands could be a disaster and poses a threat to the most popular encryptions that protect computers vital to national security. Today, encryption methods are designed so that decoding them would take so long they are practically unbreakable by classical computers. Quantum computers, however, could break these encryptions with ease. This is why researchers have already started working on post-quantum cryptography to provide security based on fundamental laws of physics instead of mathematical algorithms used today. Luckily, 
the quantum computers available today sell for millions of dollars, keeping them mostly in the hands of large companies, research labs, and government officers. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications to never miss videos like this.